So it is the second day in the Lake District. I'm just leaving the youth hostel here, bed for £10 a night, nice, and uh, heading for Great Gable this morning. It's rainy now, meant to clear up, and it's meant to get really windy with gusts of 50 miles an hour. Um, but I'm going to see how far up Great Gable I can get. It's a big mountain, one of the biggest in the Lake District again, and kind of dominates the Western Fells here. Lovely little stream here, and we're off. And we're just heading to Seatwaits, which is down the bottom here. This is a uh, sour milk hill, a little uh, waterfall stream. We're going to be heading up that and taking on this peak here. This is uh, Base Brown, this is our first peak. And then behind that is Green Gate and then Great Gate. Three things to do in a row. I've got about six hours of uh, daylight to do three weeks. So, this is sour milk gill because apparently it looks like sour milk. I've never seen it this strong what happens in winter and then see thwait below when the world stops spinning and you got no place to turn yeah and when you grasp for a glimpse and the things that you never learn yeah i've come off the track down there way off track because there is meant to be an indistinct way this way up to base brown look at those views found an indistinct path not much trod but sheep and a few walkers have come up this way we came up sour milk we headed off track to get hanging stone and now we're heading up to base brown just starting to hit some snow patches as you can see but this is the summit of Base Brown, so called because somebody was so scared when they came up and they shoot their And that was me. As you can see from our route onwards, getting windier, less visibility, and snow. That's Green Gable ahead. Well, my worry is over here, we need to hit Green Gable and Great Gable, but in between is Windy Gap, which is windy at the best of times. And today there's 50 mile an hour gusts of winds, so we might have to head back or come down our own. We shall see. But if we hit Great Gable, then we're going to head down to Stihead and then back along the valley. This is the last big hurdle of the day. Up into the mist, Great Gable. Slipping into these crevices here as I go up. Wow, look at that. I can put the camera away. Down off the worst of it, this is Die Head. There's a stretcher box in there, they use it for emergencies. Our path takes us in that way, down the valley, uh, past Die Head, long, long way. Just heading back into Seathwaite from the other direction, you can hear, hear and see Sound Milk Gill. 
and uh, this sheep. And we are home. Seven hours, three peaks and some snow.